Greetings fellow Ambazonians. Today na number 30 day for this number 8 month for the year 2022. My name na Kapo Danieb. I am the spokesman of the Ambazonian Governing Council. Today I want to bring una a presentation we surround about human rights. This woman who na the siam for this video, he name na Aleria Allegrosi. Na woman we the work for Human Rights Watch, a reputable international organization where they help to inform the whole world about the things and where it happened for inside Cameroon, Ambazonia, Guinea, Chad, and Senegal. As soon as you see on your Facebook page, na a very reputable person will be highly connected. And seeing the way they talk, I'm a research work, them na a researcher. He get heavy weight for the international community. This lady, Ilaria, for Human Rights Watch, he done make some comment where he done bring Ambazonians together from all sides. And this comment he make um, it be based on some uh, post we Mark Barata he make um, about the attack with the seven Qatar Duam for Insa Bafut. We want to congratulate Mark Barata for call using the word freedom fighters as it be very important as we don't always advocate and teach our people the name we would call them for our fighters it be very important. They use for this name freedom fighters it don't cause row as it don't cause the human rights watch AG agent Allegria making make a reaction we Amazonian they don't come together. So in reaction, Allegria he make this statement. Say freedom fighters who commit atrocity, kill, torture, and threaten, kidnap civilians pretending to freedom. This word now a very damning word way he use them. Say Amazonian fighters them. No, they record them as freedom fighters, people the way they kidnap their own people. He talks say Ambazonian fighter they, they pretend and pretend. See, they do want to liberate their people. Would they condemn Allegria for using such word as pretend? It be filled with racism. Every person will be reasonable. He go understand. And he then draw attack, a uh, response from all Ambazonian activists from all walks of life. Safunadisiam, Alex, even Tabukwifo. Every single Ambazonian, he then respond for that tweet where Human Rights Watch had uh, Allegria. He then put them out. Tabukwifo, he also come for the he talk. Francis Niba, he also come for the he talk. Even La Republic, their own people, then too, then come for the talk. It be very important, maybe we will not say, this woman, Tanwe Buan Kampo, can investigate crimes and for inside Ambazonia. La Republic, then block him, he not enter, because they don't say, if he enter, but they, he go expose crime the way La Republic did commit him. But today, we will see how he did turn now, and instead against Ambazonia. When I see La Republic, their, their agents, them too, they did use their fake Twitter account for promote which he did talk. So the focus, now the reaction, say Ambazonia and then be united for one thing, for free Ambazonia. Everybody, if flop for the, the 90% of people, them, their comments, they condemn me. Because how you go do the toxic Ambazonia fighter, they pretend they don't want free our people. Nobody way they pretend, you know, go to carry out IED attack against La Republic. They no go go carry the mission, we'll go carry them with the ADF, then go carry them for instance, do, or the one the way the other Ambazonian forces, they carry them out. They the fight now will free their country. Yes, there are some ills the way they don't do them, but you know, amount up to any crime against their people. Tapang Ivo also a jump for day, he defend Ambazonia. He already shows that we are united for one thing the freedom of Ambazonia. The way we all man jump for defend Ambazonia, all platform them in the show we say, despite our differences and our diversity, we are united for one thing freedom. Even Bo Herbert, too, he jumped there, he condemned the Human Rights Watch uh, employee, Allegria, for making such statement. He talks in a paid, the Cameroon government, they pay me, they make this statement. So, this one, a very good reaction. But what I want to draw to the Ambazonians' attention to this, now, how we Cameroon, they do win Ambazonia? How come a woman with Cameroon be the bloggy me no enter Cameroon, me no enter Ambazonia for investigate? It then became be used against Ambazonia. Now the reason this, when I look this organization, now part of the people in this way they engage with this woman. They record themselves say women task force, the Cameroon movement for women them, where they fight for peace. Now so so we Ambazonians them, our enablers, such as Agbobala and many other organizations them. Now they then they brainwash this woman them and the international communities for blind blind watch them against Cameroon the atrocity and the reason for the war. We will be see them turn away the head for for common word become for inside Ambazonia. 
Cameroon be carry political leaders, church leaders, them. Me then go lie them. They go talk for them, say, now them be on the ground and they tell them that the real picture. And instead for these people for speak on behalf of the truth way they happen, they go begin to lie these international personalities about which way they happen on the ground. That is the danger where would they always warn, say, no be any type of person go to go for go do diplomacy. We no go do talk, say, me any man, any type of NGO that they come because we know say, some of those NGO they directly work on behalf of Cameroon for misrepresent we and for convince and for transform people the way they want help suffering people like this human rights watch agent into people the way they fight against we. We know say you know fit, they know fit, they, why they not talk to say Cameroon that they pretend say they want support education when at the same Cameroon they destroy education and they destroy our system. So this one now is a result of the work of a nebulous collaborators um, within our society. I go on for take time for point out this particular organization when I for this document where they don't really help for brainwash this woman will know from the report the way they send them for them and we so blow at them within this organization where they tell we how they will lie this woman they talk say this struggle you know the way we ambazonian leadership they talk about diaspora our soldier them they don't turn against our people them so cameroon is success against ambazonia diplomatically than being for use ambazonia we don't see how they be saying kawala edit kawala for america make it go live for research at them about which way they go on for ground zero it be get for go talk for the lady being a person we come up for ground but we don't counter that one through the them and all the one that will know them we don't counter them so they use now now less known people than we our public they don't know them now you are one for expose and for now these two particular organization them you get one way they call an ahufa the hope for africa and then you get the other way they call an a snob uh, snob this one we've been a good organization before where they don't take and transform and they don't take over the head way run the one as on gary they call in a sera Davis, I'll bring it later on, and then you get the other organization way they the call a Cameroon Women's for Peace Movement. It be led by one girl they call in a Karin Dasa. I go present for one this individual them and their activity for help Cameroon for do a mispresentation. Now the first one this way they call is Sarah Dava FSO Lifanda. This girl he work again at two organizations. One also the way he the call Hope for Africa. It is like an NGO way that they do mediation. Now the organization and this through which way Cameroon government they sponsor them, they, they connect them with their international partners. These are individuals where they just like for travel and for make money as uh, they use NGO for make money. So now they get this in case we na see for ground zero, we go know the people them way. Now they, they misrepresent Ambazonia. They need to fight now for peace, but they need to fight now for they need to fight for justice. They need to fight now for so-called peace as a way for pacify Ambazonia and stop our resistance and then blackmail Ambazonian fighter them for ground zero and our activities for international communities such as Human Rights Watch and other international organ organizations where they the right day. When I see now then this way Cameroon they push them for in front, send them for abroad. When United Nations they do one whole meeting, they talk say NGO meet and come, they use now this one, they meet the good day also. So now if you see from your Facebook page, the activity the way either they do them under the radar, but we don't get eye on them. Just for sure, now we're gonna know the people the way now that they work actively for undermine Ambazonian self-determination and Ambazonian activity them for self-defense, for mischaracterize them, blackmail them, defame them, so that the international community will see Ambazonian fighters and our own self-determination as a problem. Even the post, even including Caro, they go bring the mid and come blind wash them then paint them in a different way where you no know, go reflect so or attack solution we go have with now the woman this way originally began this uh organization that they call the organization as snob will be know this one omar madam omar a good woman who know it for a long time because he will work even for bakasi even before the crisis one start but we know say this gear so he don't take over that organization cameron don't try for use omar you know if you work for them the way they want them so they don't replace you this gear sarah deva fso Lifanda. So now he work for the year and Agbo Baladem and all the rest them. They, they disguise themselves like NGO, innocent NGO where they do concern about women's rights and all these things. But actually, they, they work actively for misinform the international community and then they counter our diplomatic effort for defame our us and for, for frame us the way we Cameroon government want to be we go help Cameroon. It be important make our people they know this strategy for Cameroon and the individual them where they use them. Tomorrow they will talk to them being an NGO. They want come for inside uh, dialogue and all those stuff. Now them they, they can't convince people like Human Rights Watch, United Nations, France, England, any place who go there, they will say them. 
media they bring a counter narrative for paint and bazunian act action on the foreground as pretenders as kidnappers instead instead of liberators the other ngo will be led by darin dasa as soon as see a facebook page now i picture that for any man we get the information about he now he be the head for the cameroon women's peace movement this one are a front for the cameroon intelligence for misinform the international communities and international players about what did happen for Ambazonia for, for misconstruct the reality for push and for way way ego avoid for address the root cause issues. So they work for this woman them now for make a middle war avoid the root cause issue when I one of failed decolonization and for redefine the problem like a problem now we then become a like problem of amber boys where they want call amber boys against our people. So now they get it now the small get in this way they don't fall trap because probably they be attracted by for travel abroad and for gain some more money using um, NGOs but actually they use them for destroy the whole ambition and aspiration of 8 million people now they get this as soon as you see them hide the carry Cameroon flag if it's a loyalty be clear from a picture of them now the people in this way Cameroon government they rely on them so when we see people then like human rights watch they can paint this type of picture ignore the reality and the real cause of the war and the chaos of the war and the consequences as, as a result of ambazonians and way they don't lend themselves for the enemy for use them for blackmail their own people and their kingsmen but the problem for our own excesses it be real and i go tackle them i go tackle the few and the way they go on on the ground because it be very important we not be blind for our own mistakes or our own problem the way it be internally as a result of the chaos of war and i'm going to address them shortly but i want to bring this presentation for now make una know how cameroon it work and make una need the city people then like where the best way they know be these are the real people where they enable cameroon government and that they collaborate with the cameroon narrative for switch the topic and for change the focus from the root causes from justice to so-called peace but indeed they talk now peace for graveyard these are the people with Diangote. It the talk say they will calculate, they will use them for reach out for Ambazonian soldiers, then for tear them, say me then cut off from abroad leadership because the one use them, me then take over, then be in touch with all forces. If they recall you, talk about peace, some of them they come like NGO for can distribute food. Now, why do they need for vet everybody where they come down on ground zero? We need for be competent, we need for be intelligent, we need for be on our guard because a lot of mafia and conspiracy then they against our people their aspiration cameroon if you only destroy we by using us